you were told this seven weeks ago, and they announced it yesterday. Okay, let me bring Bob Chapman in. Do they have the pipelines in Russia and in Indonesia to cause something like that to happen, and how do they get past there not being refinery capacity for that, Bob? I just don't know. Uh, I don't know, but I, I have to assume that even if they're in operating areas, it's still going to take a while. But um, and we don't know when they're going when they are going to announce this, uh, when they're going to start this, and so we we have to decide, you know, what the timing is. And I, I can start, give you I the can, timing if you'd like. Pardon me. I can give you the timing if you wish. Oh well, please do that. <laughs> The first yeah, thing he said was more. $50 a barrel. The second thing he said was the two places they're going to open them. That is going to plunge the price of crude oil all over the world for $50 a barrel. And the reason they're doing it is the next question I ask him. I said, why are you doing this? This is what will startle the world, and you can take it to the bank. The reason that Dr. Stan said on his program on Friday, he said, the reason, Lindsay, that I can believe this now is because he said, you you told me this seven weeks ago. No, I know. Stay there. Stay there. I know. We're going to have him on. Stay there. Here we go. We're going to talk behind the scenes. Okay, uh, we're continuing. I skipped that break, too, gentlemen. I mean, my, uh, I think the question that, that Bob Chapman's getting at here uh, is that... Uh, you had said that he wouldn't say exactly when, but then you're saying you do know when. I mean, do you have a ballpark? What did he say specifically on that, Lindsay? Yes, and here's what he said when I asked him, why are you going to do this? He said, we're doing this because, okay, number one, he said, Iran is worrying us to no end. He said, Iran is becoming one of the wealthiest nations on the face of the earth. I said, are you talking about the Iranian boys, the bank, many countries doing business now besides the American dollar? He indicated in his way of saying it, yes. And basically, in a nutshell, here are their plans. They are going to utterly decimate the Middle East. Can you imagine crude oil being taken from $143 a barrel, where it hit at a, at a peak, to $50 a barrel? Well, that just won't bankrupt the... Uh, that just won't think this through. That just won't bankrupt the Middle East. It'll bankrupt the dollar. Well, well that's exactly... Alec, you hit the... I'm so glad you're thinking ahead of me. You yeah, also right. make the price the of gold Arab, go up, too. When the Arab world must maintain their economy, it was a few shakes and sheiks over there. They were nothing but nomads roaming the desert riding camels 100 years ago. Our oil companies went in there and made them. Now, I studied history. I had a history minor in college. About every 75 to 100 years, they will destroy one culture. They did it in the First and Second World War. They turn around and make another culture. That's exactly what they're in the process of doing right now. They are going to utterly decimate the Arab culture. The few sheiks and sheiks will have to get rid of all of their reserve currency of American dollars overnight in order to be able to try to even maintain some semblance of economy over there because they have a socialistic economy whereby they give the people everything from schooling to housing to medical to you name it, and all of a sudden it goes to $50 a barrel. They can't buy our T-bills anymore. They can't buy our Federal Reserve issues anymore. We have a $10 trillion national debt now plus. And what happens to the American dollar when this happens? Going through the floor overnight. Bob, this fits in. I mean, we'll see if it happens. Lindsay's been accurate in the past, and I, I believe he believes what he's saying, that this fellow did tell him that. Uh, but, uh, boy, that is a reckless operation, uh, if that's what they're planning. Bring down the U.S. and the Arabs, left standing as Europe and Russia, and then move their New World Order uh, centers uh, to those places. And we're going to get Bob Chapman's take on this and let him go when we come back to the full audience in just a moment and then let well, Lindsey Williams roll. And then and then I want to keep Lindsey Williams on in 20 minutes when, when Monteith joins us and they can all discuss whatever they want. So uh, here we go with Bob Chapman and Lindsey Williams. Very appreciative of Lindsey Williams coming on even though he's under threat on this show today. Here we go. He wrecks a political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Okay, I want Lindsey Williams to recap their master plan, what the big oil baron told him they're planning to do. Uh, and again, Lindsey's only had accurate info in the past. It was the chaplain for the executives up there when they found the giant oil reserves in Alaska. He's been exposing it, talking about it. He's been threatened, but he's still coming on air to discuss it. But Bob Chapman, any other questions or comments you've got here uh, for Lindsey Williams? 
No, I think that uh, we know the groundwork, and um, my synopsis from a, a research point of view and a psychopolitical warfare point of view it differs from what the gentleman he talked to uh, said. But then again, I'm not on the inside. Maybe this gentleman is, but uh, I see a, uh, a lessening of problems with Iran. Uh, there's been negotiations going on with them for two years, and uh, I think that uh, they're soon going to come to an agreement. And I see more problems in other areas of the world. Um, as, as far as uh, flooding the market with oil, it's possible, uh, maybe even probable. Uh, I think there's a time element uh, that will be attached to it, like we discussed earlier in the program. And so I think it could be down the line a ways. And I, I, I think in, in the absence of warfare in the Middle East that oil probably wouldn't go much higher. And uh, on the other hand, Lindsay believes that uh, through his contact, that uh, oil will go substantially higher because, um, to put it in my parlance, uh, the Middle East is going to become a free fire zone. And um, that's possible, but uh, I don't believe that's going to happen. I, I disagree with his uh, uh, fellow that he's talking to, but then again, he's on the inside. But, you know, I've been studying this for 50 years, so... And I have got a pretty good track track record. Well, regardless, all the policies show and the trend shows the dollar going down. And uh, what would a flooding of the market do? Because a jacking of the the oil up hurts the dollar. Bringing it down to a mid level helps the dollar. But plunging it doesn't that too hurt the dollar? Well, I uh, I think one would offset the other, and uh, I think that. People have got to look at the underlying reason why the dollar is weak. And it's not because of oil prices. It's cause and effect. And the effect is high oil prices and food prices and prices for other things. And that's not changing in the next three years. Okay. Uh... No, because they, they, can't, they can't change the system because if they don't create money and credit and that continues to devalue the dollar, then there will be still upward pressure normally on oil because it, it's, it's reflected they want to make up for what they're losing. And uh, it, it's a hard combination, but... But if they devalued oil, that would then take the pressure off the dollar. Only to an extent, because these people at the Federal Reserve continue to increase the uh, supply of money and credit by 15 to 18 percent a month and they're it. not the only ones doing it. Okay, the internationalforecaster.com. Thank you for spending time with us. I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you, Lindsay. There goes Bob Chapman. Okay, I wanted to bring him in just to get a, a different perspective in this. Lindsay, you have the floor, all the issues, recap the master plan, what, what this executive told you. Uh, let us in on it. I can tell you only what he told me, uh, exactly how it's going to play out. I'm quite sure Bob Chapman is much more knowledgeable on that than I. And for the past 35 years, as all of you know, all I have done is told what I have been told at different times by the elite. And so far, I cannot take any credit for it being true. It's only true because of the providence of God and that I was allowed to know these people and have been in touch with some of them from time to time. As a result, they have told me some things. They haven't told me all things. They've told me some things. And as a result, I have been willing to give it out to the world just as you have done a marvelous job of giving out what you have known, Alex. So from this point on, I will try to my best to tell you what this man indicated to me. First of all, $50 a barrel. Secondly, how is he going to do it? Or how are they going to do it? Mind you, these people do exist. This is a this is a, an agenda, not a conspiracy. I, I'm sorry, folks, beg me. I, I, I ask you, listen, these people, they, they control the world. They know what they're doing. So anyway, he said, we're going to open up an oil field in Indonesia, north of Russia, flood the world with oil. I gathered from what he said, even though he wouldn't admit to it. I talked about war with Iran. Now, I have been under the impression for a long time that there would probably be a war with Iran. I'm gathering from what he said that the best way to, to, to destroy them 
Because right now, our president couldn't go to war with Iran. The college students of America wouldn't stand for a draft. The monetary system is in such shabby shape until there's no way. And what he indicated was that they're basically going to financially break them, take it to $50 a barrel, put the Arabs back to roaming the deserts riding camels, that beautiful five-star city over there of Dubai, what's it going to turn out to be? It'll probably turn out to be a ghost town, and they're going to turn around and build new cultures as they have done for the past 75 to 100 years in the past. They're going to, and this is what's so startling, Alex. Oh, it scares me to even think about it. We're going to have to compete with Russia again. We're going to have another Cold War 